we're back at it here running more cable so right now uh for right now it's just going to be me running cable by myself so what i've got here is i've got my uh, rod already taped up with two wires i'm going to be doing this middle bat bedroom upstairs um, i went ahead and pulled um, a bunch of cable out so that way it's not going to get wrapped up in the spool as i'm pulling so i'm going to go up in the attic and pull my cable over and then we're going to cut some holes and do two speakers my name is Caden, and i'm a computer engineer by trade working full-time as a software developer I've always enjoyed doing DIY projects, and after my channel started to get popular over my whole home audio projects, I decided to make this episode series. So come along this journey as I show you from start to finish how I'm installing whole home audio into my existing two-story house. I just wanted to point this out. Um, so I'm right here, here's where I poked my hole through for where I wanna put my speaker. And um, there's the attic access, which is in this middle bedroom, which is what we're putting the speakers in. Um, but I just wanted to point this out. So here's that air conditioning duct, which is where it's gonna be near where the second speaker is. And you can see here, I've got to get underneath this because this is kind of like a, a pitch line. Um, so I have to get like underneath this, uh, which kind of, which sucks. Um, I, I'm going to attempt, I think, to cut the hole, I think, um, where I want it and then try to fish my rod through. I'm, I'm going to think about that because I know there's some other like trusses right there. Uh, so I just, I really didn't want to have to get up under there because it's really tight to get under there, but um, I guess we'll see. Um, I may just have to. Okay, I wanted to show you this. Um, sometimes I get a question, can you put ceiling speakers right up to a stud? And as you can see, um, we're pretty well right up to a stud, I would say. Yeah, where this right here, um, I'm touching the stud right there with my finger. So uh, the answer is yes, you can put these right up to a stud. The way you'll do it is you, want, you don't want one of those clips up against that area. You wanna straddle it like that. And so that way it'll, cl it'll clip on on these sides of it, but yes, you can put a ceiling speaker right up to um, a truss. Hey, look who decided to show up tonight. Kids finally went down. spot that we're going to put it and so now Caden is tracing it and then we'll be cutting it out so I had let me see that I had to uh, had to move it a little bit further this way because the way that the ceiling um, slanted there was there's actually like a, a little like supporting truss that goes right here which is where I wanted to put it so unfortunately I had to uh, move it back a little bit, but I think it'll still be okay because it should be in line with this vent. But um, luckily I used my hanger method and I had poked some holes in here and realized this was not a good spot um, because of that truss. And so um, thankfully I'll be able to take some paint, I'll be able to take some paint and uh, patch up my little holes that I did. So it's not a big deal, but again, very important to make sure you kind of investigate first before you start cutting. Kaden. Let me get up in the attic. I may have hit 
a stud or something. So what I'm going to do is go up in the attic and take a look. And then we'll find out. I can hold it. All right, so I went up in the attic and I looked again and I hadn't quite gotten over far enough. So what I'm hitting at this point is um, a stud, uh, that supporting thing that I told you that goes this way. And this is okay. Um, I just drew on here, so I'll just have to paint a little bit if it doesn't um, get covered up by the ring on the speaker. But what I'll do now is I'll take my uh, template and knowing that that's the furthest that I can go, I'll now change that and I'll draw on the template and that will become the leftmost part of my speaker and then it will extend a little bit more over onto this side. So we'll basically just redraw and then cut and our leftmost part of the speaker will be up against uh, the stud right here. So theoretically if I take my hooker, this should be clear right here. And if not, then I know I need to go over a little bit. Yep, so there's my step right there. So I can go over to right there. So right here is what you can see I was talking about that there's this piece that went this way. So we're going to have to be butted up against this. And then um, the only thing that should show is just this little pin mark that I did. None of the cuts because um, I kind of positioned the template so it would cover up the cuts. So none of the cuts should show. And so let's get the speaker up and then I'll show you one more time. <laughs> Even after having a little bit of issues with hitting a stud, you can see that you can still make it work without, you know, too many problems. So I just have to do a little touch up there, use a cheap sponge brush and just dab that on. Um, yeah, if you don't have recently painted ceilings, which luckily we do down here, then you will probably find yourself in a situation where the light ceiling paint is going to be brighter and so in that case you may be forced to paint the whole ceiling but luckily in this case we just painted these about a month or two ago so uh, shouldn't have any issues with that okay so tonight's goal is to get the kitchen speakers up and so Caden is currently working on marking the spot for the first speaker that we are going to be placing in anything you want to add to that babe Nope, I'm just, um, I went ahead and I marked, uh, I'm using my magnet, and I think I located where the studs are. And then for this, because this ceiling type is not as forgiving as that popcorn ceiling, so if I were to cut outside um, and hit like a stud, it's not quite as forgiving since this is a different texture. So what I've done is I, I've kind of located the studs I put my template up and I marked four dots on all four sides of the circle which would represent the farthest that I would have to cut um, and so I poked my hanger up on all of those four corners 
and I think we're clear. So I think that means I should be able to get a clean cut um, all the way around. So that's, that's what I'm hoping. All right, let's get her done. So we have made a little bit of a mistake. First major mistake so far in this install. Um, I misunderstood the direction that the, <clears throat> the trusses were going on this. <coughs> and uh, my wife's upstairs trying to put the kids to bed. So I know she's not gonna be too happy about this. So there's gonna be a little bit of patching that I'm gonna have to do. So let me get up here and show you what mistake that I made. So that way, hopefully you guys don't make this mistake, but don't worry, this is recoverable, something that happens. So I'm just gonna have to do a little patchwork to make it right. But luckily I hadn't um, you know, cut out any kind of, a, of a, a big hole or anything yet. So um, let me show you. The mistake that I made is that um, I knew right there for my fingers. I knew that there was a stud there because my magnet sucked up to it. And then I knew that right like here, there was a stud. And so I was under the impression for whatever reason that, this, that they were running this way. And so I thought that I was right in the middle of them but this was my fault and maybe I should have gotten in the attic. But the problem is I can't, because of how tall this is, I can't get down from the top of here into this area. I can see it, but I can't physically get my body down in there because it's too tall. I could not get myself back out. So like I basically would be stuck unless I had some kind of ladder to get out. So what I was going to do was use a fish rod and just fish it down from the top, let gravity do its thing, and it was going to be fine. So, um, I mean, this is totally my fault, but um, the truss actually runs this way. And so what happened was when I poked my hole, um, I'm on the, because think they're going this way, so I was on the left side of the truss, and I start um, cutting this way and then I, um, I hit the, the truss basically going that way and I hit the truss going this way. So the, the stud is right there where my, you can see I poked uh, four holes. I've got the knife in the middle hole. So the middle hole and the left hole, those are on the left side of the stud and the other two holes are hitting the stud. So that's the stud right there going this way. So. Um, you can see that that little cut right there. I started on the left side and then I hit the stud and then on that side I started on the right side and I came this way and I hit the stud again right there and on the, I'm hitting the stud going that way. So um, basically I have made cuts on both sides so now I need to figure out which side am I going to put it on um, to minimize the amount of re, you know, patching that I'm going to have to do. So that's what I'm going to figure out. Well, we are 15 minutes into this project and we have no hole cut yet. 
I guess we've hit a stun that Kaden didn't really account for, I don't think. And so now we have partially cut hole that we cannot continue. And so now he's trying to figure out <laughs> where a stud is in order to cut this hole for the speaker. And we have this nice looking ceiling up there that now needs to be replaced. Repaired. Well, repaired. Okay, so Caden went up, scraped the insulation, and figured out that he's good to go to cut. So here we go. Yay, we got a hole. We're back in the kitchen, getting the rod and the cable pulled out, and there we have it. Does it look good? All right, got her done. <laughs> It'll be all right, we'll get her fixed up. That's all we gotta patch up, a little bit of knife cuts. Didn't you just tell them, before you start cutting, to double check that you know where your stuff are? Like the studs, like legit, before you started, you told this, everybody yeah, but you needed a double check that you know where the studs are and that you sh probably shouldn't start cutting because of the ceiling and right. the texture is. And you legit made that mistake. So, viewers, double, triple check yourself before you cut into anything. Unless you want to pay for someone to come fix your ceiling like we're going to have to. I think I'll just be able to fix it myself. But yeah, I, it was just a misunderstanding. I, I thought they were running the other way. And um, yeah, I mean, stuff, it's, it's something like this is gonna happen and it compounded the issue, the fact that I couldn't get on top because I would have followed the same methodology where I get up there, I move the insulation. And so I just, you know, this compounded the problem. So that's all right. I would rather it happen on this side of the speaker than I would over here. And so now that I've got my rake up in the attic already, I'll be able to get this one where I want it with a template, I'll poke my hole up, I'll use my rake, I'll move the insulation, and I'll be able to know if we're good or not. So this one will turn out good. And as you can see, the ceiling needs painted anyway. So there's some spots there and there, and there's a couple spots over here. So this kitchen will look even better. Real quick, I wanted to show you what I was dealing with. So here is that, like the, that's the enclosure for my shower in the bathroom. Um, so down here, if I shine my light, you can see the, uh, I think you can see the white cable. Actually, I think you can see the top of the ceiling speaker right there. But um, yeah, I just, had to, I had to use my rake and I just, it was totally my fault. I should have just come in here and tried to figure it out first. So now we're gonna go over here on the other side of this enclosure and rake away some of the insulation and make sure that where I poked the hanger up, make sure that we're clear. Okay, so here is, I just used my, my big rake right here and the hanger is right there in that little open space. So we've got a stud on the right, but where I poked my hanger, we've got plenty of clearance on the left and on the right, plenty of it. So where I poked that um, is perfect. So that's where we're gonna do it. We don't need to move it. You can see here, there's my two chimney flues. So a little bit of a ways down there, but 
think we're good on this one, thankfully. So let's get this one cut and wrapped up and done. How's that one look? Like yeah, that one's that one's good. And you got that eyesore. We'll get it patched. But all right, kitchen, kitchen speakers looking good. Can't wait to turn them on. All right, is that it for tonight? Let's go to bed. All right. Wait. See you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, like, subscribe. Buy me a coffee because we're working late. If you find my videos helpful, would really appreciate it. Or maybe in this one, maybe I should call it the ceiling repair fund. <laughs> Just kidding. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.